Hey kids, Graham here from TheRecordingRevolution.com with another 5 Minutes to a Better Mix video where we're looking at 31 mixing tips in 31 days. And last time we talked about subgroups in your mix, and today I want to use that to our advantage as we talk about tape saturation on your drums, okay? So tape saturation is an effect that we are using now these days in plug-in form to recreate some of the um, nuances and sounds and activity uh, of what sound did when it hit actual analog tape in the recording world, okay? So obviously, if you're recording with a DAW like Pro Tools, most of the time we're actually recording into our computer. And most people in the home studio environment especially are using uh, a Pro Tools rig or a Logic rig or any DAW entirely in the box, meaning they record into it not only as their recorder, but it's also the final medium. We don't end up on a tape machine. Now, some people are still using tape because it sounds really cool, and that's what this is all about. The way... Um, tape handles audio is very interesting, and if you if you hit the tape hard, it, it somewhat compresses peaks. And some, depending on the type of tape and the way it's set up, it can um, affect the overall EQ balance a little bit. Whatever the effect was or is with tape, there's something that is very pleasing to the ear about it. And many, many, many of the records, if not all the great records of our day in the past have been recorded to tape of some kind, and it imparts some sonic signature to the sound that is pleasing, and we don't have that in a digital audio workstation. Um, your computer just captures um, audio and turns it into ones and zeros, and there's no tape involved. And so that interaction with audio and the way tape handled it is gone. So people have created plugins to recreate that pleasing, subtle distortion or um, uh, saturation a coloration that happens to audio when it hits tape. And anyway, that's the setup for what tape saturation is, but here's a great way to use it if you have a tape saturation plugin, um, is use it on your drum group, okay? You've got multi-track drums happening, and I, I looked at this in the last video. I've now bussed them to a group, so they all are dumping into this green channel here. And that means if I put a plug-in on an empty insert in this stereo um, channel here, it will affect all of my drums that are going into it, which is great. So here are my drums by themselves. And what I want to do is put a saturation plug-in right up here at the top. And in this case, I'm going to use AC2 from uh, McDSP. Uh, it's part of their analog channel bundle. And really, there are so many brands that have um, their version of an analog tape modeling plugin out there. Um, and there are a lot of free demos. So if you don't have one of these plugins, go demo one. And some of them you can demo with unlimited uses. You just can't do things like bypass or have um, settings recall, which isn't that big of a problem with a tape saturation plugin because you really only use one or two settings. So go listen to it and you can experiment without spending any money. All I'm going to do is press play, and I'm going to crank the input up a little bit, which means I'm going to send uh, more of my drums to this tape saturation plug-in. If I put it on gain reduction mode, you're going to see it kind of reducing the gain of my drums, almost compressing it. It does some natural compression, so to speak, but it's going to impart a little sonic character to the drums that give it a little more grit, a little more color, a little more energy, a little more something intangible. Let's press play. Bypass. Bypass. Do you hear that kick and the snare really cracking when the tape saturation is on there? It's very subtle. It's not a magical fix. It doesn't make my drums sound way better than they used to be. But tape saturation used subtly throughout your mix on different tracks can really impart this nice, aggressive warmth, coloration, attack, especially on things that are transient and heavy like drums. I really like the sound of some tape saturation on my drum bus. Let's take one last listen, before and after.
There you go, that's tape saturation on your drum bus. Again, this is Graham here at therecordingrevolution.com with another five minutes to a better mix. We'll see you on the next video, people.